All right, guys, this is Acorns here. Acorns is really simple to use. You just sign into it, you set it up, you give them your money, whether it's a dollar, whether it's five hundred dollars, whether it's ten dollars, and they do everything for you. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to just like on Amazon Finance, you can make a, a child account at two, and Acorns you can make a child account at two right here, and you can put money and save for the future. Uh, the only difference between Amazon Finance and Acorns, well, there's not really much of a difference. Uh, only difference is uh. Acorns that picks up for you in my finance, you have to pick out the stocks. Uh, so if you want to do it for your kids, in my finance or acorns, depending on your experience, you can use acorns or acorns, take your money, and they find the best picks for you, depending on what you want to do. Or you can do in my finance where you can pick the stocks that you want to put inside of your child's account for their future and have to have a save up for them. Uh, MF, uh, not MF Finance, Robinhood also has a retirement account, which is right here. It's called Laters. So this is my retirement account right here. And it has an investment account, which is my investment account right here. They also have a card, which I really recommend because you don't get any benefit from it. The benefits you do get from this card, you want to do Acorns, I'm going to go over everything Acorns with you. <clears throat> so let's start off with your invest account. And so on your invest account here, they will invest in your future. Obviously, you can set your goal. Uh, I put Roundups. Roundups. Go easy on the roundups. Roundups is just like if you spend 50 cents, they'll round up to a dollar and uh, put the money into your investment thing. So I have times 10. So for me, that's times 10. So that one dollar turns into ten dollars and they reinvest it. So anytime I spend a dollar, they run a dollar to ten dollars and reinvest it. If you have times one, they run your one dollar up to two dollars or your, your change and reinvest it. And so that's all roundups is. So if you want to have them take extra money out of all your purchases, so let's put it like this: a dollar soda will end up being a ten dollar soda because they're going to take nine extra dollars and reinvest it. They're going to round up to the nearest tenth. So if you guys want to do that, you can guys set it at the ten, or if you guys want to, now can set it lower. See here, you can choose how you how you want to uh, set that and scale it. And I got one dollar times ten, ten extra bucks. So. You guys choose how y'all want that to scale. You don't have to do roundups. It's just optional. I have it on because I'm trying to go hard on the savings here, going all in. You guys don't have to have that on. Uh, Recurring investments. I'm only doing. I'm going real soon. Acorns. Uh, only doing 150 a month. And this I'm always come out at the last day of the month for me. You can change it to how you want to change it. So you can put how you want to put it. You can pause it anytime, and you can redraw anytime. You can make an investment anytime. For me, I'm doing 150 a month. I've been doing acorns for a while. I did it since 2019. I stopped in 2020, and it pretty much got to 4,000 by itself because it got dividends at, right here. See, it was paying for itself. And so, I, as you see, recent activity. I have not been putting any money in here. Uh, so you see the recent activity right here. Where it paid twenty dollars to itself from dividends, one dollar to itself, one dollar to itself, and so my acorns have been taking care of itself, and that's why I'm starting it back up now. I wasn't about selling it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start it back up because it was able to get to four thousand after I left for the loan because I, I forgot about it. I had to go to my email to redo my password because I forgot about it. And this is the cash that's transferring right here. I would say for my dividends, it's transferring that cash uh, for my portfolio here. This I have zero bonds in this thing because they pick everything for me and I have 100% stocks. Uh, I have it set to aggressive because I'm doing long term. Like I say, uh, if you have it, if you're doing short term, you're going to do very passive. You're going to be very safe because you want to pull out really fast. Short term is if you're trying to save up money to buy a car or something like that, then you have short term where you take out like five or six months, then buy a car, three months later, buy a car. You want it really safe. Uh, I have aggressive because I'm looking at long term here. And so that means my money can go up and down very fast, but I won't care because I'm not paying attention to it. I have it in there for the long run. And so that's what aggressive is. And so you guys have stuff in the middle too. So I have it in aggressive here. So my risk aggressive go up and down very fast. And then they invest in new companies that they think can do good and stuff like that, which is very risky because they can fill in time. So long term go aggressive, short term just go very small, depending on, depending on your goals. So I got it long term here, so aggressive. Say that and forget. And this is my return, my return percentage right here. Remember, I haven't been putting money here, so I'm at a 17% return every year. So uh, year to date and stuff like that. So uh, that's that little thing here. You see how it's been paying dividends to itself. And my bias breakdown. See. You invested zero dollars in the last 30 days. I have not been putting any, I think I was lying, I have not been putting any money into my Robinhood account. And it got to 4000 
by itself. And I'm hoping to do this with Acorn as well as M1 Finance. Uh, this is my, yes, yeah, so as you can see here, so yeah, my, uh, this has been paying for itself for dividends also. Uh, stocks, I got this aggressive too. And as you can see, haven't touched it within the last 30 days. And so that's my uh, later's account there, which is me, my 4K, my retirement. Uh, this is my children's account. I'm not going to click on it because they have their names on it. And I want to put their names on my YouTube. But my children is the same way. I just started that uh, last month also. Uh, that's the same way. Everything. Uh, Bank Smarter pretty much is just like a debit card you put your money on. It doesn't do like Robinhood. It doesn't like Acorn. Not Acorn. It doesn't do like Robinhood or Emma Finance where they give you answers having your money set there. So there's really no benefit for that. The only benefit for this if you decide to use the Acorn card is that if you make a purchase, uh, if that company has stocks, uh, you will also buy a fraction of shares of stock from that company. I think it's at no cost to you. You'll get shares of that company, and at the same time, you can do their uh, things right here where you earn more money. <clears throat> see, see, I got the $11 there. You can do these too, which is also with their card. So they have different benefits, but you won't get money from their uh, having money on this card. You will have uh, their benefits, which is right here, which they'll give you. Shares of a company that you shop at, and uh, so you can get your companies and stuff like that, and also you can get their discount benefits uh, and things like that. And so that's uh, Acorn Sporting right here. Uh, it shows you my money I put in the uh, last 30 days, so I obviously haven't been doing anything. So you see, uh, I have not, this has been active, I just now restarting this. Uh, see, this is why I have skills, it, it budgets down for you. So all my accounts, it's it every month. I have this set up and that's just because that's recurring right there so they do budget it down for you so every month I'll be spending around 500 I round up to it so 500 into my spending money I always round up when I'm saving money I always round down and that's how I do my budget balancing so I don't overspend and this is how much you have rounded up until you get to your next uh, like I seen about for the rounds up right there so that's how much it is so I get my next five dollars so they put it in my account and they also teach about things too on here so they show you how much you can invest before you so the Robert Hood, not Robert, acorns will teach you a lot on when it comes to stocks and stuff and that's is also really great for beginners because you you'll just set your money in there and then they'll do everything for you literally they'll do everything for you and at the same time you can learn learn from it as well so this is great for beginners it's great for people that want to be safe investing like you don't want to take any chances with your money this is the perfect thing for if you want to be safe if you want to uh and also if you're a beginner but since it's so safe you don't have that big reward factor from m1 finance or Robinhood. but some people may be okay with that in my opinion I, that's why i'm going so light on acorns right now because i don't have that much reward factor on it. that's why i'm going so heavy on Robinhood. uh i'm going heavier on m1 finance when it comes to having just sitting around cash and i'm going heavy on Robinhood when it comes to investing in stocks and so because i look at the risk reward factor and i determine where i want to get out of that and that's how I come to my conclusion like this. So these three I gave gave you guys are all good stocks here, uh, good good brokerage accounts here that you can use that are free. Um, and you're going to use my referral codes. They will be in the descriptions. All the referral code does is it'll give you free stocks. It'll give me free stocks. That's all it does. You don't have to use my referral code. If you have a friend that does it, you can use your friend's referral code to help you and your friend out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. My information will be in the description as well as the uh, referral links that I can't get. I don't think I can get a referral link for Acorn, so it's just it's a picture. Uh, yeah. So and I also have your potential right here, so you want to see your potential, whatever projection that you had. And so if you do want to see your potential, you hit view potential right here. Uh, you will hit invest to see which one you want to look at. And so my vest right here, it says I will have 144,000 at the age of 44, because I put that my retirement age or age when I stop working. It said uh, that's at 150 every month. And so you guys can do that. You guys can mess with this. You guys want to try at 58, that's how much, uh, 59, that's how much you'll have at that age, at that much a month. And it says uh, this is how much that you'll have invested, and this is how much return that you're going to see on that, on that investment. Uh, so I have a set to like that. Uh, I remember I was trying to get to a million dollars just before I met my girl. I was trying to get to a million dollars. I had a lot of money to spend on this. And so I think I was doing like 300 a month. As close as you can get it. Oh, hell, let's not do that. 
Uh, let's cancel. Let's cancel, guys. Let's cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's cancel all that. I don't want to change anything. But you can set it up if you're trying to hit a certain goal line and stuff like that. And then you can look at my uh, my retirement be a little bit smaller than also because I'm doing 125 every month. And so you can see a big difference between 125 every month to uh, 150 every month. So 25. That's a $25 difference right there. That's $25 difference right there. You can see what big difference that make when you look at uh, long term. Remember, you have friends in the new monarchy.